So I'm very proud to announce that uh, you know I'm the chairman of the steering committee for the RCA GSM Buying Alliance. Okay. So it's a group of carriers that are aligning to um, select and source handsets, uh -huh. and you know really leverage our collective volume to get better pricing, better availability of product, and really work closer with the OEMs that. Uh, individually don't really want to talk to us very much because as as a single carrier we don't have enough volume but when you put 25 of us together we really we can really get their interest. The buying Alliance is going to provide a lot of benefit to everyone I mean there are just like on the CDMA side there's a small number of larger regional carriers yeah. and a large number of much smaller regional yeah. carriers and the way we've designed it you know all, all the carriers regardless of size should be able to um, you know, guarantee themselves the best price available to us, mm -hmm. as well as work with the OEMs directly on making sure that we get the, the most up-to-date handsets that we can. Mm -hmm. um, and it, so far it's been going really well. Yeah, so the RCA has done a very good job of, of working that from a legal perspective, yeah. and we're going to try to do it from the old capitalism perspective, you know, from the supply demand uh, side. You know, collectively we have enough volume to get their interest. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had meetings with multiple OEMs so far. And uh, although, you know, in the first few sessions they haven't committed to anything, uh, our hope is, is that we can uh, make the volume large enough that they will be interested in in offering us some high-end handsets that will not have that exclusivity arrangement. It's still early in the still process, early. so they are you know putting their toe in the water. But but the really good thing is is that the uh, most of them are at the table. Uh, we've had sessions with Motorola, LG, uh, HTC, Sony Ericsson, Huawei, Alcatel, of course, which mm -hmm. is already in the game. And uh, you know they're all very excited, um, and what they really want to see is the volume. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know we're currently in the process of implementing with with the regional carriers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three regional carriers that have signed so far. We have another ten that are in the process of doing so. Um, the interest list is about 22 at this point. Uh, we're reaching out to people you know outside of even the U.S. and you know U.S. Virgin Islands mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. Guam and such. So. Um, you know, our hope is to get a, yeah, north of 20 regional carriers together, and once we do, and once we prove to the OEMs that we have the momentum and mm -hmm. the volume uh, to keep their interest, I think it's going to translate to some really good things. Yeah, and there's there's a record of multiple failures on the GSM side of trying to align regional carriers, and you know the term fir uh, fiercely independent is used quite a bit with regional carriers in general, and uh, you know the GSM bunch definitely fits into that. Uh, we really worked hard to try to uh, consider a solution that would work for everybody, mm -hmm. and more importantly, keep everyone together. Uh, as we move forward and not have this thing fall apart. And uh, so far it's been good. Like I said, we have three officials so that mm -hmm. are that have launched um, that are already buying product through this agreement. Mm -hmm. um, we have another 10 that are already in motion and uh, you know hopefully we'll hit 20 or, or north of that in the next month or two. Without these events, there would be no tie-in to have us aligned yeah. from a technology perspective, you know, from a sourcing perspective for the buying alliance, uh, from a legal perspective as far as you know, working with Washington and such. I mean, these it's incredibly valuable, um, you know, because one voice all by itself can't do much, but uh, you know, 25 of us all screaming together can do a lot. Yeah. And the RCA has really been a very good supporter of the buying alliance mm -hmm. and you know other efforts as well. And uh, you know, we have we have arranged our schedule for the buying alliance around these sessions. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have started with sourcing, but we're going to, you know, work on other things to, to leverage each other to make sure that uh, our voice is heard.